Hello and welcome to Colin Bradley Artcast. I'm Stephen Bradley. And I'm Colin Bradley. How are you doing, Dad? I'm doing well. How are you doing, though? Two weeks yeah. in to your um, new house and it must be still pandemonium there, I would imagine. Yes, very much so. It's, it's definitely a work in progress, this place. Uh, not in terms of its uh, quality of build or anything like that. It's 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 perfect. Like we've got very very little, just cosmetic stuff that we'd like to do uh, over the years. But um, just in terms of where everything is and having the time to actually unpack, it's it's so tricky to find that time. The evening comes and man, I'm just so tired. <laughs> I just yeah. the last thing you want to do is sift through boxes and try and find places for things and. Yeah, I bet. Uh, um, but it is going. It's 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 lovely. You know, we've settled right in with a you know bigger place. We were in a we were in a much smaller place before. So having you know more rooms to um, put things in and um, rattle around in, and the cats are absolutely loving it, sprinting oh, up and down. They're the going to love it even more once they're released, aren't they? Yeah, exactly. Can you exactly. Imagine? Can you imagine? I know. I know they've been cooped up for you know just over a couple of weeks now, and um, yeah, it won't be long before they're they're let loose and uh, exploring outside. They're looking out the windows and um, <laughs> the windows are open ajar so that they you know get some fresh air and things. And uh, yeah, they're loving just looking out and seeing what's yeah, going on and surveying the area. Um, you you feel for them, don't you? That they're, they're, it's all out there, but they can't get at it. Yeah, they don't understand and you can't reason with them so they've just mm. got to knuckle under and settle for it but once mm. they're released my goodness me they're, they're gonna they're gonna love it they will we've done we've done some supervised walks around the garden they don't just run off so we've we've put them outside and walked around with them so they've sniffed the garden and and sort of got a taste of the area but not but you know after 10 minutes or so they want to start venturing a bit further that's where we pick them up bring them in say okay you've had your allocated time you've you've smelled the area mm -hmm. um so yeah they've they've all had that but um yeah we'll, we'll be letting them out soon well, too. They're, they're, intelli right. they're intelligent animals so that they will appreciate once they're let loose they'll appreciate it more and they know um when they're better off they to be honest yeah I mean, they have a pretty good life with you and uh, your family, so they're um, they're, they're not uh, they're not silly, but they no, can exactly. they've got the best of both worlds really. They can roam free and in the woods, and uh, all sorts of fun and games. I expect they'll have. Do you see many animals? I'm sure you do in on your walk round. And you... um, yeah, there's some foxes, um, some foxes, a uh, lot of other cats just roaming around. Uh, yeah, it's 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 the birds that you hear a lot, you know, a lot of different wildlife. Oh, you will, uh, yes, you will. Oh, <clears throat> I envy you in a way. I I know we we live by the seaside, and a lot of people think, well, that's fantastic, and it is. Don't get me wrong, but there's something about the woods and the uh, the greenery. Uh, you can't beat that nature. Mm, absolutely. <laughs> anyway, enough of that. Let's anyway, go. how have you been? How's your week been? It's been a good week. Uh, a very busy week again. Uh, seem to be very busy these days. Um, not necessarily with the artwork. I, I've made progress, as you, you're going to see in a minute. I couldn't have finished the picture that uh, I'm going to be showing you, or you're going to be showing, but um, I, it, 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 it's coming along, and I definitely will have it finished by next week, that's for sure, so they'll be able to see the, the end result. Hmm. Well, you've been enjoying retirement, Dad. You deserve a, a you know, to have some retired life. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Well, I, I must admit, it, I, I wouldn't have it any other way uh, than it is at the moment. I, I got the best of all worlds, really. Um, retired, so we can go out. Your mum and me, we can do what we want to do and go when we can see what we want. See you and the children, and uh, the family. Uh, it's great, and also have a, a, something that I love doing, and uh, can't be better, can it? No wonder I'm happy. <laughs> <laughs> that's good, that's good. 
Well, you mentioned the picture that you're part way through, so let's put that uh, work of progress, uh, work in progress, on the screen now for everyone mm. to see. Mm. Uh, and, and, and a totally different animal than I've seen you do before. Is that the reason uh, why you're doing it? Well, uh, as you know, I'm usually attracted to pictures, and as soon as I saw this, I thought, "Wow, I love that." I love the um, the pose. I love the colouring. Uh, I thought this is a bit of a challenge, and I've done, as you know, the the monkey um, images before. I've done chimps. I've done gorillas several times, and the most popular one that we got so far was the orangutan. If you remember, millions of views on YouTube we had with that. That was absolutely a stunner, and it's been done a few times, which really surprised me. And done very well too, so I thought, well, they're going to. This is going to be a walk in the park for them compared with the, the orangutan. But I love this particular picture, and um, it, it's a very, very attractive animal, as you can see, and uh, it, it kind of spoke to me again. So yes, it was something that I, I felt I had to do. But mm. the reason I did it, I stopped at that point and photographed it at that point was it brings in a lot of the um, questions that people have asked. What colour do you put underneath? How do you, how do you reach that colour? How do you blend those colours? Now, when you've got the finished animal, which we'll have next week, and uh, I'm sure it'll be uh, fantastic, um, you, you can't readily see um, that halfway point, that uh, working progress. So I think it's quite important we do, and we should do it more. Uh, actually do that so I can explain to them what I've done and how I've done it and how I'm going to be looking at it in the future. Because when you get to this stage, which I've got it on my um, uh, iPhone here, when you get to this stage, what do you do with the background? No, I don't know yet. Uh, you, you, can't, you, you can copy backgrounds, but it's not easy to do uh, because you've got to, you're stuck with whatever the the photograph shows you you're stuck with that as an artist as you know and I've met, mentioned many times you're not you can do what you like so I can I can put a jungly kind of setting but this if you notice that uh, this um, I don't know whether it's a boy or a girl can't tell can we it's got a rope in his hand now this is something mm. unusual um, if you've been to the We've got a very good wildlife park uh, locally to us in, in, in Wigan, which is near Canterbury. And we've been there several times. We've been, recently we've been there and they've got fantastic facilities. I mean, when you think of caged animals, I think back to the old days of caged animals when they really were caged and very little room. Um, well, that's all changed now. And these, um, particularly the gorillas and the... Uh, orangutans and that massive massive amount of room and they've got all calls all these um facilities i mean they're big children really aren't they and when i saw the rope and i thought well now how am i going to present this as a setting i can't really have a jungle setting because you're not likely to get uh, rope in jungles so i had to think of the enclosure and the enclosures that i witnessed in wingham which was great, and the, the uh, animals loved it as well. Lots of companionship and lots of things to do, and fed and watered, you know, a bit like your cats. Fantastic, you know, what more could you ask? So I thought, right, this is going to be an enclosure. You won't see anything, um, of other ropes dangling around and other climbing frames. I'm not going to put any of that in, but the inference will be, an enclosure so it will have greenery it will have all sorts of tones in it um, but of course it will be out of focus which is the uh, the idea so this is the idea that uh, I'm you have to have those ideas as well as how am I going to produce this animal how am I going to get the colors right uh, and when I saw the rope uh, and he's handling it once again as you've said many times it's nice to have a story and if you can put a story in it as well as the colouring, it makes it more interesting. That rope as well, I feel like that's a texture that I don't know off the top of my head if I've seen you do that before. I haven't. I haven't. <laughs> Once again, you see, isn't it great? I, I have no idea. Well, yes, I do have an idea um, how I'm going to do it, but 
the colouring is going to be important because when you've got a, a picture like this, I mean, at the moment there is ochres and there's browns in already in the picture, so I will certainly be using the colours in there. Um, but the colour that I haven't used yet in the picture, I don't think I have, I can't remember, but I don't think I have, is the 175. We talked about that last week. And, and that is a natural colour for the rope, together with probably 182 and the greys. Now, the reason it works there, because it's an earth colour, 175, but the it's going to be immediately against the fur of the animal, which is the cooler colours. Um, that base colour that you see there is, if you look at the area just above where the rope is and where it's coming down to the darker fur, you've got uh, white, obviously there's a white bib up the front here, and then you've got uh, the grey, which comes out, I think it wonderfully, you can see it on the, on the uh, left-hand side of the picture where I've amalgamated the two colours together. You've got that uh, ochre look going into the very dark grey. And that could be a problem. If you, if you just stopped it there, it would look awful. So you have to sort of amalgamate the two together. And I, the same thing is going to have to happen with the rope. I'm going to have to have that... So that um, I don't know whether I, I I might get away with not putting any of the um, the greys in. I don't know yet. But if I put a grey in, it may have to be the uh, the cooler greys as opposed to the earthy greys, which normally I would do. But this is this is to come. I don't know yet. Isn't it lovely to know that that mm. uh, I've got that uh, ahead of me? And the lovely thing about of doing this kind of thing, putting it on the screen, I've committed myself. I've got to do it. I can't not do it now. You know, I can't say, oh, I can't do this. is too hard. I'm going to scrap it. I can't do that, hmm. which, is, which is good. I think you have to put, put under some kind of pressure. Absolutely. Uh, yeah, it's good to see you uh, test yourself, even if the subject itself is, is, you know, fairly straightforward for you to be able to do, but to, to have little aspects that, you don't know what you're going to do and how you're going to do it. It, it must be nice to, to still challenge yourself with those things. Mm. Well, I deliberately do that, Steve. I, I, I find it, it brings the adrenaline out in you. You know, when you're working on it, you think, how am I going to do that? Um, and possibly, you know, if you hadn't had the experience that I've had, you probably it would phase you a bit. And think, oh, how am I going to do that? How... Uh, and that would worry you. And, of course, with that worry there, you probably wouldn't be able to produce the, the goods. But when you don't have that worry, when you know you've done lots and lots of pictures before and you know that you're going to get over it, then uh, there's, a, there's an excitement there, which is what I'd like to, people to, to bring into their own artwork. And I'm sure it's coming in now. You, you can yeah. tell from some of the enthusiastic... Um, the comments that come along with pictures that we see. I think people are getting very enthusiastic about their pictures now, which is, which is what you want to do. After all, it's not a life and death situation. If it doesn't work, it doesn't work. But you've got, it, it won't work if you don't try. Absolutely. A hundred percent. And um, there's so many things to try with this picture. Um, you know, there's so many different textures and techniques um, the different types of fur slash hair on this animal, you know, um, the the face and the, um, the 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 features of the face, um, and like the ears and the brows, and then you've got that sort of skin next to a very short hair mm. with longer hair on top, and then longer hair at the sides. And then whatever you would describe the texture of like the long nose, you know, it's, it's, it sounds like there's so many, you know, it's not just a long haired animal. It's a long haired, short haired, mm. you know, skin type <laughs> animal. And so there's so many different techniques that you're going to have to call upon with something like this. That's right. Is I mean, it... Sorry, sorry, Steve, carry on. 
I was just going to say, is this an intermediate or an advanced picture because of that reason? I think we're going to have, probably have to put it in. If there was something between intermediate and advanced, it would be that. Because it is going to be hard. And one of the things that uh, came to my mind when you were talking about that, um, it's, I don't think like that at all. When I'm doing a picture, and I think a lot of people now with a, who's had a lot of experience are probably getting to that stage now. When you don't think you can't do it, you think, how can I best do it? You know, it's a different attitude, really. Uh, so I don't think anything... When I'm going through a picture like this, um, I kind of do it, you know? It, it's, it might be easy to say that, but I just do it. I know, I know instinctively how I'm going to uh, put the relationship between the short fur and the... Like. One thing that did bother me a little... And I must admit, I had to improvise a little, is the fur on either side of the face. That was very, very difficult to reproduce as it was. Now, the problem with something like this, I can't show you, I can't, haven't got the picture that I can show you, but you do see it on the video. I actually show that on the video. Um, it, was, was, it was a very unusual um, texture in the fur. Um, I can't explain it really, so what I had to do really is compromise a little bit on that, but that's the only area that I would have had to compromise on, because if you try copying something and it doesn't work, it looks odd, it would look, it looks silly, so what you do is you do the best you can within the framework of the picture you've got. I hope this is, makes sense to you, but sometimes if you try to copy something, and you keep going and going and going and going and going, you actually spoil the picture because you're, you're trying too hard to reproduce something. So what you do there in a situation like that is you compromise. You have to do a little bit of compromising. Um, but well, it, looks good. it does look realistic. I wouldn't have picked that area as being sort of um, improvised at all. Um, one area as well, I just want to point out as well that, that immediately struck me is the mouth how realistic the mouth looks um and but it's only when i zoom in that i go oh my goodness like that's not uh you know there, there's not a lot of detail there but when you zoom out you it, it looks incredibly detailed and realistic it does and i haven't finished that that's um, that's still a little bit of work in progress. The teeth, particularly, um, I've got to refine them. Um, but I wanted to leave it like it was. I couldn't. I could have carried on. But the thing is, you you don't do one section and finish. You do one section as best you can, um, as you see it, and then you work around that. Uh, so I've got to work around that. The nostrils is particularly there. I mean, they are going to be so dramatic, you wouldn't believe. They're red. A wow. little bit like the mouth, but they're red. That vivid red you can see, very, very striking. And I deliberately didn't put those in um, on this bit because I wanted people to see uh, the before and after situation. But until those go in, until you finish the actual surround, then you work into the mouth again and refine it really that what you see is what you're going to get basic but there will be slight refinements and but uh so it, that's not quite finished yet that bit but it's interesting, well i, I can't i can't wait to see it finished uh it's already looking so good and so impressive uh, uh yeah i can't wait to see see how it goes um we will then, uh, you'll be finishing it this week. Hopefully we'll be able to show the finished picture next week or next week's oh, show. Yes. Oh, yes, I, I, that will certainly be finished. Uh, I haven't done any more of it than you see there, um, simply because I've been busy the last couple of days, so I haven't had a chance to get to it. But I will be doing it today. I'll be working on it today, possibly over the weekend, and then uh, all next week until we get to uh, next end of next week when we do the podcast but it will be ready 
yes very exciting very exciting well i hope everyone's looking forward to seeing this picture uh, and seeing the finished picture next week um no other questions this week if you have anything that you would like us to discuss then please uh, get in touch with us via the various means and methods um as always these podcasts are for you guys um but we're quite happy showing off um dad's work and how he's achieved what he's achieved uh, and the techniques behind it so i hope you're all still enjoying these shows and uh, what we're delivering um but for now we will leave it there for this week so thank you everyone for watching and listening i'm stephen bradley and i'm colin bradley enjoy, enjoy your week, week.